Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, how to obviate a drop table scenario. The solution is pretty straightforward and simple. It is uh, to use the restrict on drop class in create or alter table statement. So you can have a particular table. It can be set for a specific tables. Uh, you have to set that restrict on drop class. What it will do is it will completely uh, stop the execution of the drop table table name command so if you are setting this for table a then table a cannot be dropped in a direct manner you will have it becomes from a single step process to two step process you will have to first drop the restrict on drop class or that you have to reset that attribute then you need to drop the table so this will give you if, if there is some kind of typo errors or some kind of mistake that you are doing from a uh, spelling mistakes or something like that or it can it will give you that really that second chance you know like whether i really need to do this activity so it will give you that second chance wherein you can uh, decide to uh, drop the table or just you know leave it as it is so it is no, it is kind of different from drop table recovery drop table recovery is a contingency plan whereas uh, uh, like one it, it comes into picture once the drop has been executed right after the drop has been executed if you want the data back so how are how I am going to get that data so that is only possible uh, by means of drop table recovery the restrict and drop comes before that okay the solution here is preemptive approach it obviates the occurrence of drop table itself from occurring okay. no additional logging space or performance overhead is associated so you can pretty much go straight forward use this in a direct manner and uh, drop table space is also not allowed even if one uh, table is there in that table space with the restrict option enabled so it gives you a restriction on accidental drop table space scenario as well right so it's, it's uh, much uh, more beneficial in that as aspect as well okay let's go to the example so we are uh, connecting to the test database here uh, the database already created and I am creating table space my space and this is the table that I am creating table A with the restrict on drop class so which means that this table cannot be dropped in a direct manner then I am uh, inserting uh, three records into table A similarly I am creating table B and table C these are uh, uh, non uh, restricted tables so I have table A with the restriction enabled table B and C with uh, no restriction uh, in them I copy that I can execute it connect to the test successful create table space is occurring successful and the tables are created table A with the restrict on drop uh, B and C are just created in a direct manner then I am going to try uh, drop table A table B and uh, the table space itself so table B should be dropped if you look at the behavior because it is not a restricted uh, the restriction is not there so table B should be dropped table A will not get dropped and the table space also will not get dropped let's uh, look at how our behavior is let us copy that testing drop table B see the table B got dropped successfully okay the table A did not got uh, dropped it returns SQL 0672N and the table space my space also it cannot you cannot drop that also because there is table A which is preventing that right because the drop is not allowed on table A okay so just let's check that okay list tables and uh, selecting all the uh, other things okay just looking at the data whether those the table A is there C is there uh, records are also there okay and the next command is like I am altering table table C so existing table table C I am adding the restrict on drop class see here it was when it was created it was created without the restriction so I can use alter table to add the restriction after that if I try to drop table C it won't drop similarly table A was created with restriction during the creation so I am altering table A to drop the restrict on drop attribute so table uh, A should be easily we can drop that okay so let's check that out okay copy just execute here so the alter table got successful completed table C 
you cannot drop it same error i'm getting now table a i am uh, dropping that restrict feature after that if i drop it it got exe executed uh, successfully then let me try to drop the table space itself so it won't allow let's check that out why it is not allowing because still there is table c which is with that protection uh, restrict uh, attribute set see now it says table c is having that so in a table space you need to have all the tables uh, without that restrict protection so that you can drop the table space so i, I am now altering the table c to drop that particular uh, restrict on drop attribute then i i go and drop the table space this should be allowed now it's done so it's pretty much straightforward scenario you can use this restrict on drop uh, attribute on specific tables if you don't want to enable them on all the tables you can just do it for some specific tables and uh, no performance overhead or lo logging uh, additional logging space required it is very useful uh, to prevent these kind of typo or accidentally or unintentionally uh, dropping incorrect uh, tables thank you thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy thanks thanks all see you in next video bye bye